Yeah, 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 yeah. I still can't speak correctly in my vlogs. Bah, 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 bah. How's it going, guys? Welcome to my big comfy couch. It's pretty comfy. I'm Sam the photographer and today we're gonna talk about how to choose what kind of photographer that you want to be. And I know as a beginner that could be really frustrating or it can be more of a journey as how I took it. So back in the day when dinosaurs still roamed the earth, I had a Nikon D80 and I thought I was the sh this is when I was first discovering photography, and the Nikon D80 was my first DSLR. So when I got a hold of that thing, I was walking around everywhere shooting anything possible. And I'm talking anything from ordinary objects like street signs, bridges, flowers, cars, the sky, uh, family members at family parties. Yeah, literally anything. I didn't know what kind of photographer that I wanted to be, which is totally cool. That's totally fine. But eventually down the line with photography, I found that I took an interest in actually photographing people. And I'm talking more along the lines of like doing photo shoots rather than street photography. You know, doing a fashion shoot rather than something a little more or journalism. You have all these branches in photography that you can go. You can go how I went. I went the portraiture route. There's a whole bunch of subgenres within each main genre. Like with portraiture, you have fashion, journalism, street, wedding, newborns. You know, the list goes on and on. Same with landscape and nature. With landscape and nature, you're gonna have wildlife, travel photography, people who f photograph beaches or a little more rural areas or you know just the, the list goes on and on there's a full melting pot of different things that you can try you can also try food photography which is awesome in my opinion because then you get to eat it which is dope the automotive side you start taking pictures of cars for magazines you can do it for posters or calendars it's gonna feel like a natural calling and for me personally that was with portraits but before all that I was shooting literally anything under the sun Done. That was the most fun for me because I got to figure out what kind of photographer am I going to develop into. Develop photography. Puns. Puns, Puns for fun. Growing up, I had buddies that were already shooting portraits, and I think that's what kind of geared me towards more portrait photography because they were already doing it and they were making it look really sweet. And I was like, dude, I want to do that too. I want to have cool photos like you guys, so that's what I'm going to do. That's when I started finding out more portrait photographers that, are, that were professionals and kind of twist and turned and curved and churned and burned my style and my eye that I wanted to start capturing myself. Andy Leibovitz is probably the biggest inspiration that I have for that as far as how I started and what I wanted my photos to look like. Now she's still very much one of my huge inspirations, but I've also found other photographers along the way that I like certain things how they do. Maybe I like the way that they light their portraits or their composition with their shots, style of props that they use. Like I, there's different bits of reasons why I like particular photographers. When I was molding my Myself as a photographer, I kind of got my start in the local music scene. So originally I'm from Sunnyvale, California. To anyone that knows Sunnyvale, California or knows San Jose or Santa Clara or Cupertino, any of these like neighboring cities knows kind of how tight the music scene is for like the local bands around here. You know, everybody knows everybody kind of way. It opened up a brand new genre of me to photograph, which is live music photography, which also kind of combines how to shoot in low light, especially action in low light. For a few good years, that's where I was. I was a music photographer and I would go to these local venues and just photograph my friend's band just killing it on stage and then I would hook them up with, you know, cool photographs and then they would shout me out and then I would have something cool to show after. As much as it was work, it was also a little bit of cross promotion and then just chilling with your friends. So that's where I got my start, kind of where how I learned how to take pictures of people because really I had no experience in it yet. And so that was my first real dive into taking a picture of someone was doing it through live music. It was an opportunity for me to photograph them without me really having to control the shoot. And then I started doing promotional pictures for them. So, or what they call uh, press kit photos or press photos. There's a 
a whole bunch of names for them, promos. And that's where I got my real start into doing portraits because now I had a command of photo shoot. On top of that, like on average, five members to a band. Usually they come uh, coordinated with their outfits or they'll come looking a little stylish or whatever because they're trying to get photo shoot ready. So pretty much I was doing that in particular at least for five years. If I were to get booked another promo shoot for a band or an artist, of course I'd jump right on it because it's still something that I, I love to do. So yeah, so that's how I kind of got into my calling for doing more portrait driven work only. So like working with professional models, working you know with a team, with a hair and makeup artist, wardrobe designer. Now you really have to be on top of it. With band promos, you can get away with happy accidents. But when you're under a professional setting like this, you kind of have to know your once I actually really got in rhythm with how to command my own photo shoot as a lead photographer, that's when it became pretty clear to me that this is what I want to do. The way you find out what kind of photography you like to do, it's like a pack of pixie sticks. You know, no matter what, even if you don't like it, it's still a pixie stick. But you're gonna find your favorite flavor and you're just gonna be like, yeah, that's the one I want all the time. Um, I don't mind if, if, if I get a grape or an orange or whatever, but you better hit me with that cherry every single damn time. Give me the chair, I'll take the blue. I'll take the blue, but give me the chair. Finding what photographer that you want to be later is gonna be a journey, but you should enjoy this journey because it's gonna also sort of figure you out, do you want to do this professionally or do you want to do this more as a hobbyist? And, and there's no wrong answer. I am not a professional. Hopefully, some may beg to differ, but I am telling you, straight from the horse's mouth, I am not a professional photographer. I'm semi-pro at best. But I've been wanting to be a pro for almost 10 years now. So I know this, that's where I eventually want to be. And any advice that I'm giving you guys is not coming from a professional source. I am not a professional. I, will, I cannot stress that enough. I am not a professional photographer. I am semi-pro at best or an advanced amateur, whatever you want to call it. That's how I found out that I wanted to do, just be in the portrait world in general, was through all these subgenres, through music, through doing stories, and then eventually doing professional gigs. So for you, it, it might be, you might want to go down the portrait route. And if so, leave it in the comment section below and hopefully I can help you out in a future video on how to develop yourself as a portrait photographer. Now, if you want to do something like landscape, which is also a really popular one, that's totally okay too. I think it's really smart to just dip your hand in every single genre. That way you sort of know which direction is pulling you. And also that way you kind of know how to shoot everything. If you do want to eventually be a professional, that's when you have to really break it down and figure out what you want to specialize in. As a pro, you do not want to be a jack of all trades. You won't be taken seriously and you probably won't get jobs. They want someone who specializes in portraits. They want someone who specializes in weddings, who specializes in landscape, who specializes in food, who specializes in cars. There's a bunch of ways to photograph it all, but they only want the specialists. So when you do promote yourself as a pro, you want to promote yourself as that thing and that thing only, because that's what you're going to be known for. But when you're an amateur, when you're a hobbyist or, you know, whatever, this is your time to sort of dip your hands in all the cookie jars and see which one's your favorite cookie. Like I said before, if it is landscape, figure out what about landscape that you really like so much. If it's automotive, you know, clearly you have a huge interest in cars and you want to be more in that world artistically. Or you just want to photograph half naked chicks on cars. Either way, it's, hey, 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 you know, or if it's in music photography, like how I took a big interest in it and I still do have an interest in it, it's just I don't think it's what I'm best at. So that's why I pull more towards portraits and, and doing photo shoots and stuff like that because I know I do a better job at that where I have more control of the situation versus live concert photography where I kind of have to work with what I got. So yeah, let me know in the comments section below what kind of photography do you want to do? What kind of photography are you interested in? Is there any way that I can help you out in a future video with the type of photography you want to do? Now, just because I am a portrait photographer doesn't mean I can't give helpful tips in landscape, 
food, music. Music is a big one that I can speak on. I can make future videos if you guys like on how to photograph these particular things in a way that I see fit. So yeah, just let me know in the comment section below like what you guys like to photograph. It, it'd be really cool to see some of your guys' videos or some of your guys' photographs. Link me to your website, link me to your Instagram. Also let me know if you would like your photographs critiqued. I know that's kind of a, uh, more of a touchy subject, but some people like the honest feedback and I give honest feedback. I will tell you everything that's good about it and then I'll tell you what you need to work on. And then again, it's just coming from one source. So, you know, my opinion can be different from the next person that, you know, and so on and so forth. So hopefully that helps you guys with figuring out what kind of photography you'd like to do from hearing how I got my start in portraits. So you guys already know what it is. You can catch me on the tube, catch me on the ground, catch me on the book so you know where to look. I am Sam the Photographer and I will talk to you guys next time. Peace. I'm gonna stop this one and then we're gonna go on one more, okay?